time has come. After the loss of Ire, the Protoss race teetered perilously close to extinction. It was Hyark Artanis who bridged the bitter divide between the Templar and Dark Templar factions. With the Spear of Adun at his command, Artanis prepares for war inside the Nexus. Artanis is an unflinching melee warrior that refuses to give up, even in the face of death. Those who are divided fall. Artanis' passive trait, Shield Overload, automatically triggers a protective barrier when his health dips below 50%. The cooldown of this trait shrinks with every basic attack, so sustained combat will activate this ability much faster. Artanis' first basic ability is Blade Dash. Artanis lunges forward in a straight line, dealing light damage, and then dashes back along the same path, dealing significantly higher damage. Next up is the ability Twin Blades. Once primed, Twin Blades will activate on your next auto attack, striking the enemy with two basic attacks quickly. Artanis' third ability is Phase Prism. When activated, Artanis sends out a prism in a straight line. When the prism contacts an enemy hero, it pulls the enemy to your position while repositioning you to theirs. Artanis' first heroic is Suppression Pulse. The Spear of the Dune deploys a crackling net of energy, causing light damage to any enemies caught in range and blinding them for a short period of time. Suppression Pulse has unlimited range and can be called down anywhere on the battlefield. Artanis' second heroic calls down a Purifier Beam. As commander of the Spear of Adun, Artanis can order this massive laser to chase an enemy hero for a short time, causing high damage to whomever and whatever it touches. Purifier Beam also can be called down anywhere on the battlefield. Here are a few tips when playing this legendary Protoss leader. Dive into fights, triggering Artanis' shield overload as his health drops. Utilize twin blades to help hasten the cooldown on this trait and cycle it in combat as often as possible. The combo of these two abilities allow Artanis to stay in the thick of things and at times trap an enemy into thinking he's an easy kill. Use your blade dash to dive in on enemy groups and take control of their positioning. Due to the high damage of Artanis' return dash, most enemies will spread out, allowing your team to push an advantage. Phase Prism usage will be the mark of a fearless player. How you position yourself and your opponent will be central to scoring critical takedowns. But be careful. Try not to fling yourself into enemy fire. Artanis has few options for speedy escapes. With the Spear of Adun at his command, Artanis has access to heroic abilities across the entire battleground. His heroics allow him to have global influence and affect the tide of battle even if he isn't present. The Purifier Beam rewards players with excellent timing. Triggering it just before a teammate lands a clutch stun can help you inflict a massive amount of damage on multiple targets. Suppression Pulse is a solid counter to auto-attack heroes. Trigger the ability when opponents initiate a fight. The blind duration might just be enough for you and your team to secure multiple takedowns without suffering any of your own. The future is ours. The United Protoss are marching to war. Will you answer the Hierarch's call to arms? Make sure to subscribe to Heroes of the Storm on YouTube, and we'll see you next time in the Nexus.